Pat Novak for Hire is an old-time radio detective drama series which originally aired from 1946 until 1948 and then revived in 1949. It started as a West Coast regional program produced at KGO in San Francisco. This regional version originally starred Jack Webb in the title role with scripts by his roommate Richard L. Breen. When Webb and Breen moved to Los Angeles from San Francisco, Webb was replaced by Ben Morris and Breen by Gil Dowd. Meanwhile, in L.A., Webb and Breen, joined by director William P. Russo, would work on an extremely similar national series known as Johnny Madero, Pier 23, for the Mutual Network. Webb would then star in Jeff Regan Investigator until December of 1948. By 1949, a year after the end of the San Francisco run of the original series, Jack Webb resumed the Novak role and bringing his duties as scriptwriter, this time for the national audience on ABC. Pat Novak for Hire is set on the San Francisco waterfront. It depicts the city as Pat Novak sees it, a dark, rough place where the main goal is survival. Not a detective by trade, Novak owns a boat shop on Pier 19 where he rents out boats and does odd jobs to make money. The series is popular among fans for its fast-paced, hard-boiled dialogue, action, and witty one-liners. Each episode of the program, especially with Jack Webb, follows the same basic formula. A foghorn sounds and Novak steps are heard walking down the pier. He then pauses and begins with the line, Sure. I'm Pat Novak, for hire. The theme music would start, during which Novak gives a monologue about the troubles along the waterfront and his job renting boats. Novak narrates the story throughout the show. He is cynical, and he throws out lines such as, Around here, a set of morals won't cause any more stir than Mother's Day in an orphanage. He then introduces the trouble in which he finds himself that week. The dialogue is a continuous stream of similes typically found in pulp fiction. For example, in So Long Dixie Gillian, Novak describes a lady entering his room this way. She sauntered in, moving slowly from side to side like 118 pounds of warm smoke. Her voice was all right, too. It reminded you of a furnace full of marshmallows. Typically, a person unknown to Novak asks him to do an unusual or risky job, or he is suspicious because the job sounds too easy. But Novak reluctantly accepts and quickly finds himself in hot water in the form of an unexplained dead body. Sultry females are usually involved. Police Inspector Hellman, played by Raymond Burr, arrives on the scene and tries to pin the murder on Novak. With only circumstantial evidence to go on, Hellman promises to haul Novak in the next day for the crime. The rapid, staccato dialogue between Webb and Burr is typical of hard-boiled fiction and is often humorous. Pat uses the time to try to solve the case. He usually employs the help of his friend Jocko Madigan, played by Tudor Owen. Jocko is an ex-doctor and a drunkard and is typically found in some dive bar. When Patsy, as Novak is called, asks him for help, Jocko launches into a long-winded philosophical tirade full of witty and funny remarks until Novak finally cuts him off. Reluctantly, Jocko always helps Novak. Jocko and Novak unravel the case, and Hellman makes the arrest. Finally, we hear the foghorn and Novak steps on the pier again before Novak spells out the details of the case before us which is often rather complicated and requires an explanation for the listener to understand. At the end, Novak informs us that Hellman only asked one question, which Novak answers with a clever retort. Music for the show was supplied by Basil Adlam. Announcers included Fred Foy, Raymond Burr, George Fenneman, Hal Gibney, and William Conrad. Pat Novak for Hire has become one of the golden age of radio's most prized remnants. Pat Novak would run until June 26, 1949. Part of the reason for the end of the run was that three weeks earlier, Jack Webb had started another show, which you may have heard of. It was called Dragnet. Information for the synopsis was taken from the website Digital Deli 2, from John Dunning's book Encyclopedia of Old Time Radio 
and from Wikipedia. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Enjoy the show. <laughs> 